What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 14.7.1 with CheckRain and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get either Cydia or Cilio, whichever you prefer. I prefer getting Cilio just because I think it's a it's a better jailbreak, at least the, the utilities used in that jailbreak I think are better and I think they're really, really good with the check rain jailbreak or running odyssey rain basically so um first off we're going to jump into settings here as you can see my iphone is on the latest 14.7.1 check rain still works on this version now if you have the iphone 10 or the iphone 8 uh, first thing you're going to want to do is disable face id and passcode this is required to jailbreak with check rain on those devices, like I said, basically if it has an A11 chip, you need to disable face ID and uh, passcode lock. Uh, you cannot re-enable it after you jailbreak as well. It will crash the jailbreak. So it does have to stay disabled. Now there are tweaks that can make life a little bit better without having, you know, face ID or passcode lock. You can use like BioProtect and stuff like that. So you can use tweaks to lock your applications, but you can't use face ID or passcode lock. So just keep that in mind before you decide you want to jailbreak your older device. So like I said, iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 plus, you do have to do that. Now let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and you're gonna need to install CheckRain onto your Mac. It does support Mac and Linux. Uh, this is a tutorial for Mac and Linux. If you guys have a Windows computer, uh, you can still use CheckRain, but you need to basically put CheckRain onto a flash drive with Linux and boot your Windows machine up with Linux. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer, so I can't show you how to do this. Um, but if you're on Mac, you can go ahead and go to the official CheckRain website and you can download the latest release right here. As you can see, 0.12.4. Now, if you do want Cilio, uh, installed you will need Beetlejuice as well and I'll leave the link for both of these in the description you just go to this page here and you go to releases and then you can just go ahead and um, install the dot app dot zip here as you can see I have both of these in my dock ready to go so now that you have both CheckRain and Beetlejuice installed we can go ahead and launch CheckRain and we will need to change some options here so we're gonna go ahead and allow untested iOS versions. We're going to go ahead and turn on verbose boot because it looks freaking cool. And then we're going to skip the A11 BPR check. Now you only have to turn this on if your, your device has the A11 chip in it. So if you don't know, just do a quick Google search like iPhone 8 chip question mark, and it'll tell you which chip your iPhone has. Like I said, pretty much iPhone 8, 8 plus and the iPhone 10. And now that you have toggled all of those on, we can click back and we can click start and it gives you a little warning that you're running it on an untested version that's okay and we're going to go ahead and put our iphone into recovery mode with check rain and then once it does go into recovery mode we're going to go ahead and put it into dfu mode now i think this part is where most people have troubles basically as these light up is when you do them so you click start and then press and hold the side and volume down buttons together for four seconds and then release the side button but keep holding the volume down button for 10 seconds now it's going to be different if you have the iphone 7 i believe but like i said just follow the on-screen guide here it's pretty simple once you've done it a few times it's really easy so i'm just going to go ahead and click on start oops if i can click it correctly click start go ahead and hold both buttons and then I just like to slide my finger off of the side button, but keep holding the volume down. And now we have entered DFU mode successfully. So it's gonna go ahead and jailbreak our iPhone. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Cydia and Cilio. So by default, CheckRain allows you to install Cydia. So once you have completed the jailbreak, what you can do is launch the CheckRain application and go ahead and install Cydia. And that's all you gotta do. But if you want Cilio, there is the added step of using Beetlejuice. Now, 
My personal preference is Cilio. I think that Cilio is better. You get a better tweak injection. In my opinion, you get lib hooker. And uh, I just I just like Cilio better. Cydia is definitely very outdated on iOS 14. So um, we'll just wait here for it to appear on the home screen. As you can see there, it takes a few seconds. It's usually like 15 to 30 seconds or so, and then check rain will show up. So if all you want is Cydia, you can go ahead and open the check rain app at this point. But if you want Cilio, do not touch that application. We're going to jump back onto the computer here and I'm going to click done for check rain and close it out. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Beetlejuice and we're going to run this. So as you can see, I still have my iPhone connected. It has recognized that my iPhone is connected. It's showing my version. And now we're just going to click on install Odyssey Rain. And this is going to install uh, Cilio and Libhooker and uh, everything along with that. So really quite simple. Before you begin, ensure you are jailbroken with check rain before using. Just go ahead and read all this if you've never done it before. And uh, we will go ahead and install Odyssey Rain. Like I said, I just much more prefer Cilio. It is modern. It is not outdated like Cydia. And that's all we had to do. And now, as you can see on my iPhone, I have Cilio. So we can go ahead and launch Cilio. Now, I'm pretty sure on the GitHub page here, if I back up, it tells us that once we have Cilio, we want to install Rocket Bootstrap and Preference Loader. So what I'm going to do um, I've already ran this, so I'm going to go ahead and search for Rocket Bootstrap, just like that. Maybe we need to refresh the sources here. Okay, so we have some upgrades, and there is Rocket Bootstrap. So I'll click on Git, and then we also want Preference Loader. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that real quick. preference loader go ahead and click on git and i'm just going to confirm those two packages here real quick and then i'm going to restart the springboard very fast respring that was lightning fast and now i'm going to go ahead and update all of these packages i'm just going to make sure the sources are done so they are we'll do upgrade all 33 packages we'll click on confirm And as you can tell, it is doing a lot of stuff. And then we'll click on Restart Springboard. I had an issue with this earlier where the button does nothing, which is kind of weird. And it seems to be doing it again. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, kill it from multitasking and relaunch it. And I believe that is okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why it does that, but yeah, we have no more updates or anything. Uh, the repos have been refreshed. And uh, it didn't require a start restart of the springboard, but it seems to be all good. So I did notice that the first time I ran that. But that's how you can get Odyssey Rain uh, and Check Rain and Cilio on iOS 14.7.1. Um, and like I said, disregard all of that if you just want Cydia. But I highly recommend getting Cilio, uh, just because I think it's a much you know a much better package manager. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.